here just in the past couple weeks, we had Trump sign this executive order on EMP preparedness. Now, in terms of an EMP, a lot of people seem to think that this can only be done in like one way, either an attack or others think that it can only come from the sun. But the reality is, is that this can unfold in many different ways. And this executive order that he rolled out, it goes over a four-year plan where they want coordination between all these different units in our country to come together to be able to counter such an event. Now, we just witnessed the lights go out in Sudan. We've witnessed multiple blackouts and attacks happen in Venezuela. And the people down there still suffering, still sitting in the dark because of the lack of power. Now, in this country, the parts that we need to fix such a situation, they would take months to get here. They would come from countries that we may not be the best of friends with at the time, like China. And in this instance, they're really making a move to try to get everything on par. Now, if, if they get that done before an event, that's one thing. But if they don't, you could take, they could take all this time, so to speak, getting ready for the next few years. They're going to start by getting major government centers and places of operation squared away. They already have a lot of their military places EMP-proofed. But they're going to expand that into other areas. And of course, people's homes are going to be the last place that has protection. Of course, they're not going to do that. This comes down to you. This comes down to your preparedness. So when I see them constantly talking about this now, I think it would be foolish for someone to look over this and say, oh, I'll worry about it later. They have a four-year window on this executive order. We are in a moment in time now where I believe anything can happen at, at any time. The next huge event that could change our way of life is right around the corner. You have to have a plan. And it seems like after all the talking we've done, they're finally gearing up for such an event. So I want you to know that this doesn't have to be an attack from someone. This can come from the sun. It's happened before in the past. Canada's been hit. There was the Carrington event of 1859 that knocked out power on Earth. There was also the starfish prime tests. The U.S. government launched a 1.4 megaton nuclear warhead about 250 miles into the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. Now, that affected things 900 miles away. The EMP was so intense that it was not accurately measured because it drove many of the instruments testing it off the scale. The third event was a Soviet EMP called Test 184. It happened around the same time as the Star, Starfish Prime Test. Not many details known about this. It was exploded at about 180 miles above populated areas. What is known about that is that it knocked out 600 miles of underground power lines that was shielded and that it was also buried three feet underground. It caused fires to power stations that this line was connected to mass damage to diesel generators, and it shows that an EMP way back then was able to fry stuff three feet underground. And these are some of the things that I want people to realize. And I hope the more that we talk about this, somewhere along the lines, someone says, you know what, today's the day that I'm going to get a plan together. That is why we talk about these things. You're going to see more and more survival videos from here geared toward surviving an event just like this, lights out, it's critical. And if you can survive this, odds are you can survive many other things thrown at you. I'll leave links. It's been Dabu7.